Ooh, it's nighttime. Oh, wow. Were you here for a couple minutes already? Yeah. Oh, dope. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I was going to try to record this and see if we make a good tutorial video. So what we're doing is... Oh, yeah, so we got to start killing these things. So if you can, just start punching them. So we're off to a little bit of a rough start. Normally, when you start, you have 10 minutes before nighttime comes. Oh, jeez. All right, so we're just going to have to run. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Let's just run. There's too many without a weapon. Um, let's head towards the water. So if you double tap W, it makes you sprint. Oh, so you know that already. Okay. Um, there's an Enderman that way, so let's not go that way. Okay, sun's coming up. This is good. We kind of recover right here. All right. Exactly. I will. I logged off. I, I, I don't look. That's an Enderman. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Whenever you look at an Enderman, if you look at their, if your eyes meet their eyes or your ridicule meets their eyes, they will attack you. If you look at their feet, they'll leave you alone. Here, get away from me. All right. So normally when you start a world, you have 10 minutes before night comes. And so you want to make like a base and get yourself all situated. So the first thing you normally do in Minecraft is you punch trees. So, yeah, well, that I got that down. okay, so let's go punch some trees. Yep. Well, I see some cobblestone over there. So, look, got a bunch of animals here, so we can quickly get some food. Because I'm now down four drumsticks, so we need some food to re get that back. I don't know what you know or what you've already learned, so I'm just going to... I'll tell you everything I know as we go. Okay. Well, typically, the, the thing I'm not sure about is now is in terms of how much I'm doing well it all depends resources are a funny thing it really depends what your goals are like all right so i normally when i get three three blocks of wood i stop grabbing wood and then i turn that into a crafting table one of them into a crafting table i did oh, just grab okay. six so yeah i put a craft table down and then from that we can Why make Yep. Start with. Yeah, well, here. Nice. So um, then I really don't have to like do anything. Well, what I normally do, right. But I normally do this just only because I just like to be efficient. So now you have an axe and that axe will be able to get you stuff faster. And oh, okay. So now if you could chop down wood, you can chop down wood in like three times the speed. So if you break three, three logs, that should get you a crafting table and an axe. But, I mean, that's minor stuff. But, yeah, that's more for, like, speed play. Um, and you can also use your axe to hunt the piggies. But, yeah, so, well, now we have at least 10 minutes before nighttime comes. So, the first thing we want to do is just grab some basic resources. Maybe find um, some cobblestone. Get some cobblestone weapons. And then try to find, like, a dungeon. So, yes. So, how many resources you need is really dependent upon what your goals are. So our goal on this will be to try to defeat the Ender Dragon. Okay. So that, that way, that means that it's going to be like, well, do we want like a permanent base? Do we want to make like a nice big base that's all pretty and glamorous? Or we just want something that's functional? So I'm going to let you decide that. Because they're... Uh, I typically just go with... Okay. So then, right. So then we don't need much resources at all, right? We just dig a hole in a wall and that's it. Right. So... All right. All right. So let's grab this. So you you can use when you put your workbench down, right? That's made out of wood. So the best it's always about using the best tool to break what you have. Um, so this you use since it's wood, you use your axe to break it, and it breaks fast. Because mm -hmm. if you put it down again, and I just start punching it, like look how long this takes. It takes much longer. So that food you're eating, if you cook it. You're gonna get much more health out of it, or much more food out of it. Right, but we need coal first, right? Well, you can actually use wood to make coal. Oh, but we. But we actually need cobblestone, right? So I just I see some over here. So one of the things we want to look at is what biome you're in. So if you hit F3. Yeah, except on a Mac, it's not that easy. 
Oh. I have F3, yeah. Yeah, right. So then it says biome plains. So think about plains. Plains, deserts, savannas, any any biome that you consider flat in the real world, like a flat type land, has a chance of spawning villages. So there may be villages nearby. If so, you can raid them. Because sometimes there's a... There's, um, let me just get up here up top real quick and try to look around. Well, there's villagers, and they can trade, yeah. So, get up here. Well, exactly. Well, I mean, you kind of go to the village, and most of the time the trades are terrible. But every now and then you'll find a, a villager who has good trades. Um, so, you can find them in the desert and in the plains, but I don't see any easily apparent. They're out there somewhere. But let's go over and grab some cobblestone. So, we're not having, we don't have to, like, rush, so... I can kind of we can kind of explain as we go. And think about desert since there's a desert over there. We might want to investigate that because sometimes there's desert temples, and a lot of the times you can get diamonds in there, for you know just in chests. Yeah, I've been avoiding the desert. Yeah, All right, so if we grab, you need three cobble for your pickaxe. You want three, two cobble for your sword, so that's five. I, you know, I like to get a shovel, so that's six. So if you get like fourteen, because with another eight you can get, we can also have a couple. Furn we can each make a furnace, mm -hmm. because if you're speed playing, more furnaces the better, because then you're smelting lots of wood. Ooh. No, if I was speed playing, I wouldn't make anything but a pickaxe right now and I would just dump it. So I'm going to dump my pickaxe now, this wooden one, just to save inventory space. So I threw it in the water. So when you want to drop an item, mm -hmm. so you have it in your hop bar, um, you walk, you just hit, you just hit the Q button and it throws it. So I just threw a bunch of like trees into the water. Same thing is true if you open your inventory, you put your cursor over an item. Rather than dragging out of your inventory and throwing it on the ground, you put your cursor over and hit Q. It's a quick way to drop items which you'll find very convenient when you're in a mad rush. All right, so then I gotta make some more sticks. I hear that they're... Uh... Oh, that's good. There may be a dungeon nearby. All right, so I'm making a sword. Um, I'm gonna make a shovel. So I made a stone shovel, stone sword, so stone pick. Exactly, just put your cursor above and hit Q and it'll toss it to me. Not cold. Oh good. We'll save it for now. We don't need it just yet. Well you can use it to make torches. I'm gonna throw it down this axe since I don't need it. Is there coal right there? Or I just see it. No. Uh, oh you I'll grabbed it all? Right oh here's some coal. Yeah, I'll grab some too while you make your items. So yes, yeah, so if you take a you take a log and you put it in a furnace, um, one in the bottom and one in the top, um, it'll make it'll turn the bottom wood will turn the top one into charcoal, which is which makes it the same, which will turn into like coal, I mean charcoal. I think that actually the top ones can be a log and the bottom one can be a plank. So if you're desperate and you can't find coal right away, you can make some. I don't think it lasts as long, but it'll get it'll so it'll make it'll at least make torches. Right. You make a lot of torches since we're gonna. Oh yes, I oh yeah. There's never enough. What I normally do, well, we can talk about that later once we get deep down inside. Oh, you know what? I didn't make my. Uh, I didn't make my own furnace. We can share later, but. Alright, I have enough wood to last us a, quite a long time. So it's really your pick. Um, do you want to head into a desert? Do you want to like stay in this this kind of area? I think that's like a forest over here. What are we here? We crossed the river, and our biome changed to forest. So we hit F3 again. Um, okay. So do you want to stay in a forest? Do you want to go into the plains? Or do you want to go into a desert? 
There's no, uh, there's no bad answer. If you walk in this direction that I'm facing, if you walk in this direction, the world will never stop generating. It'll always just keep making more and more and more. So you'll find whatever you want in any direction eventually. So there's, okay. no, there's no wrong answer or right answer. Every time, try this for a second. Try, um, go to hit T, which pulls up your dialog box. And hit okay. slash or forward slash seed. Does that work for you? Oh, well, for well, forward slash. I mean, that, that's just the typing commands. Oh, no, I know. Uh, let me see what. The, so you want to? That's just to. Uh, that's just to the talking. The, the the talk. Yeah, the talk thing is like I can do this. I chat. hit. T yeah. Is it the chat or open command. Yeah, or try open command. I'm not quite sure. If you do forward slash, I doubt you remapped forward slash. The one yeah. under. All right, so then just type the word seed. Does that actually work for you? I tried to give you OP rights, uh, uh, operator rights. So you get a, uh, a number? Right. So when this world was made, just before you logged in, um, that took, a, it was based based upon the time of my computer. It generated a random seed. And then okay. from that, it created this random world. So it's possible that no one in the world has ever used this seed before. So every time you log into this game, that's one of the beauties of it, is that it's a new world. It's completely different. Um, okay. And then, but also the beauty of it is if you come across a nice seed, you can write it down and share it with your friends and then they can all... Oh, I see. Okay, so you can... Yeah, okay. That's like cool. every actual ore in every place won't be the same seed to seed, but every major item will be. Like this will be a forest where we're standing and that will be a plains over there and there'll be the villages all in the same place. Okay. So we spent some time talking. It's now nighttime. So we should probably go underground. So what I normally do is this. Uh, this is probably monster time. That's the way. But well, that's good. Did you make any torches? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then slap one up. All right. So again, uh, I don't know how many, how much of the basics you know, but for dirt and gravel and stuff, you want to use your shovel. For... Uh, do you actually change constantly? Yeah, because it's all on my, it's all on my hot bar. Yep, and then, so for any of the harder, any of the stones, you want to use your pickaxe. And so I just found some iron. Yeah, somebody got too lazy to change the pickaxe for everything. Yep. Typically. Well, that's fine. It just, it will slow you. It's the item, if you use the proper item, it'll just be faster. Uh, so I'm some, you know, for, for like dirt, too. for like dirt, it's not that big of a deal. I rarely ever make shovels unless I'm speed playing. Like when I'm in a super rush. Um, uh, let's just turn this into a little room right here. And I got some iron that we can smelt. You want to come on down. So in terms of digging, shovel is better? Shovel is good for all the softer things like gravel or dirt. This here is um, stone. You want a pickaxe. These are all stones. So do you have thing that I tend to do? Just, I don't know if it make any difference. But yep. like the, if I started to dig down, I always block the entrance. Yes, very good idea. And especially when you when we're if you're playing like you know hardcore or whatever or PvP, I try to block it with a stone that you can't really oh, identify. Hard. Oh yeah. Because when you break stone and you replace it, it comes out as cobblestone. Mm -hmm. So if we're hiding from players, I would like I would use some dirt because dirt looks like dirt no matter what. Ah. And so then it would just they yeah, wouldn't know. Oh, if, so people right if you see cobblestone you know a person's been there all right so we can stop all right so you know how to smelt so you put your coal in the bottom put your or iron at the top so from that we can make some swords and some pickaxe and while that's smelting i like to you know even though we're not like playing a time thing i just like always like to keep busy doing something so while that's smelting i would just i would dig down i mean we had nothing to do till morning anyway right so we can look and having a stack of like i always keep like a stack of some material in my inventory for quick building you know if you're being chased yeah, by I, I do the same yeah um, just kind of keep like i always keep cobblestone around just to build something yep quickly yep Oh, can you bring me one of those torches? Oh, thank you. 
No, I don't. I'm going to turn my sounds up because you seem to be hearing more than I am. Normally when I'm recording, I turn my sounds down a little bit. But Like when I'm standing, I hear water. Oh, yeah? Then try to dig towards it. Maybe if we find a dungeon, it won't be a dungeon won't be bad. It's not a bad thing. That's kind of what we want. We want us to be, have, both have full suits of iron. That's kind of our first goal. And we want to defeat every Enderman we see. I do hear water now that I turn my sounds up. I'm going to turn my sounds up even more, I think. If I can hit the right button. Oh, I think... All right. But I'm always afraid that, like, like lava, I don't... With flood. Well, that's the thing. Well, the, well, remember I told you that I'm always impressed by this game, like the thought they put into it? If you bust through on water, the water will fill up the tunnel pretty fast. Because right. water is a very liquid... Well, I've been killed by, like, my, uh, by lava before because I duck and, you know, didn't pay attention to drip. And yep. I just got burned. Yep. Well, the... Th but the thing about lava is that if you stand back when you break things... I never stand right against what I'm breaking. Lava... Uh, um, there's some uh, iron down here, but I'm out of... I'm actually kind of scared to leave this open, actually. Um, I'm going to make can, more torches. Yeah, can you, bring me a, can you bring me a torch? I just don't want to leave this. If I leave this area, I'll be, we'll be far enough away that stuff will spawn down here before we get back. So things spawn, on average, about 24 blocks away from the player. So they won't spawn within that vicinity unless it's from a spawner, which is like a little box on the ground. looks like a cage. Yeah, I've ran into that already. Okay, those spawn only when you're within 16 blocks. But in general, monsters won't spawn. So if we, I left this area, there's some iron down there if you want to grab it. My torch broke. I mean, sorry, my pick broke. I have to go make a new one. Oh, I should probably just make one here. I'm, an idiot. I'm silly. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to make another. I won't make another one. A cobblestone one. I'll make them out of uh, iron. So I always dig down because that's where all the fun stuff is that we want anyway. All right. So all right. So I'll make us each a diamond. Uh, sorry, yeah, diamond. An iron pickaxe. And I'll make us each a sword. Oh, cooked food's good. Oh, so here's another tip. When you click on a block, when you click on something, a, a collection of something in your inventory, if you hold control, you get half of that. It breaks it in half. Yeah, I noticed. I mean, I noticed that and somehow I don't have to run a map. I think I don't have to. But I do. Somehow when I click on stuff, I... so that's food. Cook food. Did you toss any? I picked it, but I picked it up for them. Yeah, you're oh. you're you're throwing it onto the block, so you're gonna pick it up. Okay. Here, I'll stand there, so I'm more likely to pick it up. You pick it up? Yep. Thank you. I'm down at like two bars, so thank you. I put I put some more in this oven here, but I'm out of coal. Or oh, sorry. Wait here, I got a piece of coal here. Hold on. Alright, so, and then this iron's then done. Give you the... There you go. I, get, I just dropped a sword for you. So, I guess uh, um, I tend to chuck all the. I mean, and, like, because I, I'm not in a rush or anything, I just. Yep, always. Yeah, a good tip is like this. You'll see people do this all the time. You do what I'm doing here, and you make a two-hole deep hole. Oh, and you throw it in. And then you throw it yeah, in. So you... I pick it up by accident. Yeah, like this. Like, I don't want this thing. Oh, get in there. Um, yeah, it's like trash. Or someone will put a piece of lava there and trash it all. So in terms of armor, so now we have swords and picks, so we're in good shape. The next thing, when you think about armor, 
Um, your breastplate is the most valuable piece, followed by your pants, then your feet, then your head. So that's the way you want to build it. You want to build your chest, pants, feet, head, if possible. Sometimes you're in a rush and you can only make boots, you know, or you only have enough pieces to make it, but that's the ideal. So you go from your torso down and then get then do your head. Oh, here. I made this for you. I don't think you picked it up. Did you get the rest of that iron that was here? Uh, yeah. It's all clear. All right. Is it? I wonder if it's daytime. Because if, it's, if we had a compass, or sorry, a clock, we could see if it's daytime right now outside. Yeah, I've been uh, used to camp. The map that I have. Yep. So you still want to, just want to keep going down? Well, until it's daytime. 